What's up queens? It's your girl Liv and I am back with another video. To all of my new subscribers, welcome and thank you for subscribing. To all of my old subscribers, thanks for sticking around and hanging out with your girl. Okay, so today's video is going to be about my six month post-op visit with my surgeon. Um, today is Monday, October 14th, 2019. And my six month post-op appointment is this Thursday, October 17th at 10 a.m. So. This video is about what I'm going to talk to my surgeon about once I get to my visit with her on Friday. Keep in mind, ladies, when you do your um, tummy tucks, your BBLs, or whatever type of cosmetic surgery that you're doing, the surgeon always tells you um, six to wait six months to decide if you have any concerns, if you would like any revisions, because what they say is generally six months is the mark where you will see significant change and where you will see things that you know are gonna be permanent. And from that point, six months, you can go ahead and come in and tell them what your concerns are, what your likes and your dislikes are, and to see what they can fix. So, you know, y'all know I'm always honest about my journey and I have concerns and I have things that I wanna to talk to my surgeon about when I go Thursday. And there is things that I would like to be fixed. Yeah. So that's what this video is gonna be about today. I'm gonna to show y'all the things that I have concerns about. And some of the things that I have concerns about is probably going to result in a revision because that's the only way that I can see um, that that's gonna be fixed, so. Okay, ladies, so this is me currently at five and a half to six months post-op. And as you can see, I also threw in a side by side of what I looked like before I had my um, surgery done. So I, I always like to throw that in so we can see where we started at and where we have come. Okay, so yeah, so this is what I'm looking like so far. Six months out, still a huge difference. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking tight and right. So yeah, all right, so let's start with my first concern that I'm gonna talk to her about, and that is the keloid scarring that has formed around my belly button. Um, I got a new belly button, so um, when it healed, it overhealed and it developed raised hypertrophic scarring, AKA keloid scarring. Um, it's super thick. Um, it's not thick, thick, but it's thick. Like it's so thick. It looks like it's completely closed whenever I rest my belly. Like I have to stick my finger in it just to open it, but the scarring is so thick and it's so much, it completely closes up the belly button hole. So that is something that I'm definitely going to be talking to her about. I know they have things called cortisone shots that we can put in there to flatten those out. So that's going to be a suggestion. All right, moving right along to the scarring. And uh, ladies, I don't know why the camera is picking up the scar and my stretch marks to look so dark. But my scar and my stretch marks are not that dark at all. Like... I just don't understand how this is happening. I don't know if it's lighting or what, but anyway. So as you can see, there is a thick ray scarring on the tummy tuck incision, um, but it's not in every place. It's just in some places. And then there's also a little hole there and that came from when she had to go in and extract that fluid um, when I had that small leaking pocket. Um, see on that side over there, that wasn't raised at all. That didn't have a hypotrophic scar. That was really flat. And also my love handles, you guys. I just feel like something needs to be done. I don't think any lipo was done in this area. And then I also feel like it's deformed right there. I don't know if that's a dog ear or if that's still swelling. Like, I don't know what's going on there. But the swelling has went down enough to where I can see some things that I am just not happy with. So those are the concerns that I'm going to be speaking to my surgeon about Thursday when I go to my six month post tummy tuck liposuction of the lower flanks and diastasis recti muscle repair. I have to always say that slowly because if I don't, it ain't gonna come out right. So um, that's pretty much it ladies. I just want to be transparent because a lot of times there is things that happen or the way that we heal that we do not like. And some people may think that it's not okay to go and say something after you done spent your coins 
it's okay to go and say something. If you feel like you need something fixed or revised or you need some type of intervention with something that's going on. So specifically like with my scarring around my belly button, keloid scarring, I want that to be addressed. I want the keloid scarring on my scar to be addressed and my lower flanks addressed because I personally feel like there was no liposuction of my lower flanks. It just, like there is just no telltale signs that there are. I mean, all the signs is saying that there wasn't any done. But I got pictures of, you know, the fact that they liposuctioned out. I'm just like, well, where did that come from? Because my lower flanks looks as if nothing was actually done to them. They actually look a little like on the side where I showed y'all where that dent was going lump lump. I feel like maybe they started to do um, liposuction there, but for some reason stopped because it looks unfinished. You know what I mean? I don't know, but those are all the things that I'm going to be discussing with her when I go see her. I just wanted to make y'all ladies aware of that. Um, I'm going to try to put the results from my visit with her in this same video. If you ladies have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them in the comment section because as y'all can see, I do respond back, I talk back, I like having conversation with y'all in the comments. When we go to have these things done, there's always probably gonna be something that we don't like, something that needs to be fixed, something that wasn't perfect, I mean, the surgeons aren't perfect. They can just do what they can, but you can still ask them to fix things that you feel like your money was not, that your money was worth getting done. So that is it. Thank you ladies for watching. Um, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your positivity. Thank y'all for y'all love. And I will see y'all in my very next upload.